Hi guys! Is it working? Yes, that's Dr. Rocker and it's a very unusual video today. I want to try out to film with my cell phone. Uh, I've never done this before. I hope it works uh, because if that would work I might be able to go live with my iPhone. And for that I will just do a tryout video today where I will draw and show you how to draw an arm from a superhero. You can't practice those enough so I think uh, it's always good to, to have a tutorial like this. I will just check on the camera. I think I think everything is working fine. You can see those simple shapes are the first ones we need to do. Then we go in right away with some muscles. There is a shoulder muscle right there. Shoulder muscle, we can divide it in three. Uh, three thirds. The bicep comes out here. There's the tricep. Like that. You can do it like this. Big tricep. You, you can make the tricep quite big. Um, then there's the thumb, and from the thumb, there's the big muscle coming out. He starts here. You don't have to do it exactly like that. I don't think it's very important to, to nail the anatomy. It's most important that it looks cool. There's the elbow. And there's a very important landmark. This thing right here, the knuckle. Then we draw a ball for the thumb muscle, like this one. And here we draw a fist. Knuckle, 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 knuckle. Just like that. Now we already take an eraser. I like to use those, you can also use a, uh, bigger ones, but with these it's way easier to erase only what you want to erase. We need to get rid of all the helplines now, just like that. And then we can continue. I hope you guys are all well. Um, I don't know if you know that, but I do a lot on Instagram. Uh, at the moment and actually I will I will try to do uh, more for Instagram this year more than for YouTube because my goal is to get uh, bigger on Instagram in 2023 I've worked on my YouTube channel for three more than three and a half years now uh, I will still work on my on my YouTube channel but not as much uh, because yeah we, you can have time for everything, but there will be there will be a lot of videos still. But I will try to keep it down a notch, if that's how you can say it. Now I will erase down everything because first I want to do some line weight right away. It's very fast with pencils. It's not the best paper, but it's a small paper, and I didn't want to use one of my precious big ones for. A small tutorial like this but it's still a bristle board uh, it's very smudgy but that's not a big problem uh, the light is coming from this direction let's just draw it in right real quick little Sun and yeah so the, the line weight should be a little bit the lines should be a little bit thinner towards the light source, which is also from uh, above. And we can have thicker lines here on the back. And uh, go ahead and make those quite sketchy. That's, that's totally working. Just like that. Okay. I'm trying to draw very fast because I actually don't have a lot of time. And I have to speak in a little bit of a muffled voice because my daughter is uh, trying to fall asleep next door and I don't want to wake her, so. Big day tomorrow. They are allowed to sleep at their aunt's house tomorrow, which is great for us <laughs> because we almost never have a break from our kids. But anyway, it's not why we're here. We are here to draw a nice arm. So you can see it's already looking quite cool. We can also do this. These right there. 
it's very nice actually to film with the iPhone because I have this big display up there. Feels good. Uh, I will use my not sharpened. I'm so prepared, guys. Uh, this is my H pencil. I like I like the H pencil for doing the strong backs because I don't smudge as much. So the light comes from here, which means we need to go in right there with some strong blacks. This might take a while now, but I will try to make it as fast as possible. Also here is some strong blacks. And you can see it's a very strong arm. Not, I would not say Hulk-like, but still very strong. Uh, this is a core shadow, a shadow from this muscle and also this one. And this is a cast shadow, which is the shadow this muscle or this group of muscles throw on the tricep right there. I get asked that quite a lot. What's a core shadow? What's a cast shadow? It's quite, uh, quite necessary to know what they are. Okay, let's just try and get these strong blacks in as fast as possible, as I just said. Then we do this here on the tricep. Okay, there's also a small cast shadow on the bicep. And here we can do a cast shadow like this, because this is a round form. Um, let's just say like this. So the shadow falls in right there. I think this might be uh, this might be worth a lot if I tell you my thought proce process. I would have, oh, or I, I loved those. I didn't just would. <laughs> I didn't just would. Oh my god! Sorry, guys. I, uh, I loved those when David Finch uh, did he, especially his first tutorials. He was talking a lot about his process, which which is great because. Uh, you can't pick a brain of somebody who's just there drawing and yeah. So I try to make it as plausible to you as possible. Um, there's also, this is just a shadow. Uh, this side will be heavy shadow because the light is coming from this direction and above. And yeah, uh, that's also an arm similar like this one. I guess it's similar, I don't know, I just draw those. Uh, but quite similar to this one uh, is my most liked uh, my most liked post on Instagram. I have like, I don't know, 36,000, I guess even more likes. So make sure to to check out my Instagram account if you didn't already or if you didn't even come from there because it's uh, I, it seems like these posts help a lot of people but it also is very nice to see someone draw, uh, draw a thing like that I guess but the most important part of course is to see the reference and use it and take your time with the reference. In this case, I will not take photos in between because I want to be quick here and I want to pretend like I'm live, which means uh, I cannot, I cannot stop the video to take a photo. And I also take all my pictures with my iPhone, so wouldn't work anyway. Um, yeah, but you can, you can pause the video for, for reference can take a screenshot if you like. So, the bicep is also supposed to have a little bit of a of a core shadow like this. And like I told you earlier, you don't have to do it exactly like I do. It's just a rough rough guide. Let's call it a rough guide. This is okay because it looks good. It wouldn't really to be seen if the sun comes from here, but I like it in this case. So sometimes those decisions are wrong. Sometimes it would you would have been better off without. 
some of these decisions. Sometimes they work. You have to try it out. You can stick. Uh, you can stick to how it should be extremely, and it might work as well. But um, in my case, I think I would lose the fun if I would stick too much to anatomy and all this stuff. So you can see. We actually got all the strong blacks we need. And now I will go right ahead. Uh, I love to do it with this with my 2B pencil. This is my 2B pencil again, which is great for hatching. So we will do fast hatching lines. It's a bit of a bad paper for those. I have to get a feel. And what's very important, um, you can do quite different lines. You can do... You know what? I can do a line like this. I can do a line like this. You just have to. You just have to move around the edge of the pencil. So find the right edge, and then you make your hatching lines. And I like to do them nowadays. I like to do them like this. I think it looks awesome. You can also do them. Uh, a little bit more uh, fine, you know, this takes more time and might look better if you like it more. But at the moment, I, I like these rougher ones. I think those look really cool. I can work very fast with an approach like this. And yeah, why not? Why the heck not? Looks pretty cool, I guess. But let me know down in the comments if you like my uh, my other hatchings more, where I, where I do them a bit uh, a bit more on the on the fine side. Uh, in this case, uh, especially because I, I had I have this strong grid like here, I like to add a third layer, and I also even the third layer layer towards the light source, it's thinner the line. You see. Just like that. And yeah, I can also add some of these here and here. Looks pretty cool. Then we have to do the tricep next. You can see this is going fairly fast. Also from this direction. Okay, this might be a bit much. Maybe I'll use my, uh, or let's let's put it like this. You could use your eraser and erase some of these down, at least in this part. But in my case, I will just do more here. Then the contrast is getting better as well because the contrast between this and this area wasn't good enough, I think. But now it's better since it's getting darker. I will do a little bit less hatching line on this half of, of the arm because, yeah, just like that, because it's nearer to the sun or to the light source. In our case, it is the sun, as you might have noticed. You can also do more strong blacks and and therefore do less hatching lines or you can get rid of all the hatching lines you don't need to do hatching lines it's just a style choice which i like and i guess a lot of you guys do like those as well otherwise you wouldn't be here on my channel we like those maybe old-fashioned but not just there are also some very new artists who use those quite nicely. We like those hatching lines. Uh, with the forearm, we need to be careful not to do too many lines uh, in this direction. It's just not working too good. Better, we are better off if we do more like these. You, you can, you, you might have noticed I was 
turning the, the pencil around a little bit. That's uh, one of the reasons why it's very important to hold your pen like this, so you can have this movement. If you hold your pen like this, you don't have that. So make sure to hold your pen correct, uh, your pencil in this case. Uh, I know this is very hard, especially if you have learned it the wrong way. And I don't want to judge here, but this is the right way. Sorry about that. And you can still do great things. I mean, for example, my buddy David Finch, one of the greatest comic book artists of all time, he holds the pencil like this. He, I think it's like this. And he does a great job. But even he says he doesn't have a lot of, a lot of uh, control over his, over his lines. And that's the reason. Hard to imagine, but he would even be better if he would uh, he would have learned early enough how, how to hold the pencil. But like I said, don't get don't get this the wrong way. If you're used to holding your pencil uh, like that, then just do it. But at least give it a try. Maybe maybe it's not as hard uh, as you would have think to to try and, and learn it for yourself the other way, you might have a big advantage there. I want to divide this right here, just so there's more going on in this area. Also here, you know what, I will do this. When you hatch, you can also do a thing like this, First you make lines like this, and then you make halfway or wherever you want an extra line. Also works nicely. And here we are going towards the sun a little bit more. Not as much actually, because the hand is um, pointing the other direction. So this could actually be very dark. I will even go ahead and do some of these right there. Let's see, everything's working. We are at 17 minutes, but we are almost done. It's There's not much left we need to do. Some details after that and then, then we are off. Off to bed or whatever. I am off to bed after that, that's for sure. Okay. Now we have our basic, our basic, uh, basic hatching in, and what I will do now is add some wings. And for those, I know usually they go more in this direction, but there are also some crossed like these. You can see it properly on my arm, on my hand. And uh, if you do a wane in this direction, it looks boring because there are so many lines in this direction already. So I like to go ahead and do them like this. You see? And also here. And of course, there are strong blacks. You actually wouldn't see them there. And you don't have to do that. You can also just erase them from here. But I personally, I love it when you can see the wings. It just looks better. It looks badass, man. So I do the wings as I want to. It's very important to do the big wing here on the bicep. And I always like to split it up. Let's split it up in two directions even. Then there's a big wing going in the direction of the chest. And let's just put in one more wing. Let's just see where it would look cool, like here. Then we just draw the shadow of all these wings. Very important if you do a thing like this, make it bum out a little bit. Looks way, way better than if you don't do that. Try this out, give it a try, it's very easy. And other than that, we just, also here, we just draw the shadow, the wing would throw on the muscles below. And in this case, you can see uh, there's a shadow, which means there's a string. So there must be a little bit more of a shadow than here. 
I hope you can follow along and you understand what I mean. If not, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I can help you out. Okay. Let's do some more wains right there. And we will also hatch the wains real quick. But first, I want to draw them in properly. You know what? Let me try this out. Oh, I guess this is working. Cool. Why didn't I work with the iPhone before? I don't know if the sound is any good, but I will see when I check the video. I hope it's good enough so I can release this one. But let's hope so. Let's just hope so. Okay, then we have here. The sun is hitting us from here, which means we only draw the shadow of the wing on this side. You can see this already makes a big difference. Here is also a wing, and of course, there's a bigger shadow. You can also do a bigger shadow beneath the wings. Then, then they will, will look bigger, of course. Am I in the picture? Oh my god. I wasn't in the picture. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, and I still will stick to this camera angle. And you can see... I'm using the flat side again, so I make a broad, a broad point in this, in this case. It's just a, a dot actually, not point. It's the same word in German, but yeah, you know what I mean. You just do small dot-like hatchings, just like that. Okay. And we are almost done, people. I hope you are well. I hope you are drawing along. If not, please watch it again and draw along. This is worth a million bucks. <laughs> or something like that. And I guess that's it. That's a pretty cool arm. Let me just show you again. That's a pretty cool arm. And very easy to recreate. And yeah. Guys, I love you. Have fun. See you next time.